Hi everybody, this is my ThinkPad T480S. It's aging really well, but it has just 8GB of RAM. So in today's video, I'm going to upgrade it to make it to a total of 16GB. The first very important step is to disable the built-in battery. Turn on the laptop and after that immediately hit enter to show you the startup interactive menu. After that hit F1 to enter the BIOS setup utility. Go to the config tab and select the power option. After that you see a menu with an option to disable the built-in battery. Confirm that you want to proceed and your laptop will be turned off. This is a safety feature to temporarily disable the built-in battery of the laptop while you are performing the hardware upgrade. After that, when you plug a USB-C power supply, the battery will be automatically re-enabled. I want to repeat once again, it's very important to protect your hardware by temporarily disabling the built-in battery before proceeding with the disassembly of the laptop and any hardware modifications. As you have seen, I have already done this and now using a screwdriver, I'm going to remove the back cover of the laptop. The disassembly process is straightforward and simple. There are several captive screws that I have to unscrew with the screwdriver and after that using a plastic clip to remove the back cover from the main chassis of the laptop so that I can access the system board where the sodium slot for the extra RAM is. As you can see, I used an old plastic card as a tool for this job. Thanks to the magic of video editing, I've also speeded up this part of the video. After completely removing the back cover, I have access to the system board of my Lenovo ThinkPad T480S. We can very quickly and easily identify the sodium slot for the extra memory. Here is a closer look at the 8GB DDR4 memory module that I've purchased for the upgrade of my Lenovo ThinkPad T480S. Note that it operates at 3200 MHz, so there is a little twist here. Let me explain in more details. ThinkPad T480S comes with pre-soldered RAM to the motherboard. Uh, depending on the configuration, it has either 4 or 8 GB of soldered RAM. In my case, I have a unit with 8 GB RAM soldered on the main board. There is a slot which allows you to extend the memory up to either 20 or 24 GB. Well, obviously in my case it's 24 GB. However, I'm going to perform an upgrade to in total 16 GB, which means that I'll have 8 GB soldered on the main board and 8 GB as an additional memory module. ThinkPad T480S supports DDR4 running at 2400 MHz. I wasn't able to find exactly this module uh, in the shops, so I bought um, DDR4 running at 3200. However, due to the constraints of the motherboard and the CPU, it will be actually working at the supported 2400 MHz. Here is another quick look at the new memory module and now let's proceed with the most important step and plug it into the sodium slot on the motherboard. Carefully make sure that it is properly aligned. After that, with both hands, hold it at 30 degrees angle and plug it into the sodium slot until it clicks. You have to slightly and carefully push down the memory module to click. Let me zoom in and show you the details about the installed extra memory module. I also will lift up the protective uh, cover so that you can have a better look. The final hardware step is to put everything back together and assemble the ThinkPad T480S. For this I'll need again a screwdriver which will help me to put back the back cover and fasten the captive screws. This could be a little bit boring and because of this I will increase the speed of this part of the video. However, when you're doing this, take your time and do it carefully because it is important to properly close it. If you're watching my YouTube channel, you know that several months ago I tried this upgrade and I failed miserably because back then I bought second-hand RAM memory module which had 40 chips and as a result the Lenovo Diagnostics to short failing tests for memory. Now let's give it another try and see if this time my upgrade is successful. 
plug an appropriate USB-C power supply into the ThinkPad T480S. This way we will enable the temporarily disabled built-in battery and we'll be able to power on the laptop. Press the power button to turn it on. After that, you see the Lenovo logo and at this moment, quickly hit enter to see the startup interrupt menu again. You remember this from the beginning of the video when we use the same procedure to disable the built-in battery. However, this time from the startup interrupt menu, I decided to go to the diagnostics and I've hit F10. On the home screen of Lenovo Diagnostics, you can see all the different hardware tests that you can run. This is a really cool feature as firmware present on all ThinkPads. This works independently from the operating system and gives you a way how to verify that your hardware works successfully. I've installed new memory, so I'm going to test the memory. I selected a quick test and after confirming it started running, it requires about 5 minutes to complete. No worries, we won't be waiting 5 minutes for this test to pass, we'll just fast forward. Lenovo Diagnostics completed the memory test and as you can see all tests are passing, which means that the installation of the additional memory uh, module is successful and it is properly working on my ThinkPad T480S. I would like to show you the logs because there are some specific interesting details. Here we can see a confirmation of something that I've explained previously. Although the additional memory module supports DDR4 at 3200 MHz, in this particular configuration it is working at 2400 MHz because this is the maximum supported by the system board on T480S. After completing the tests, I've exited the Lenovo Diagnostics and I've rebooted the computer so that it can enter the operating system. Many years ago, the computer came with Windows, I've wiped it out, put Ubuntu Linux on it, and now from the graphical user interface, we can see that, uh, again, 16GB of RAM are detected, just as expected. At the end of the video, let's summarize that I've showed you how to upgrade the RAM on Lenovo ThinkPad T440S. This model comes with either 4 or 8 GB RAM soldered to the system board and supports up to 20 or 24 GB of RAM. The RAM type is DDR4 that works at 2400 MHz and there is a SODIMM slot which allows you to perform the upgrade that I've just showed you. The quick memory test that I run in the Lenovo Diagnostics passed, everything seems fine, and as a Linux user I'm using Ubuntu 2404, which is the latest stable release as of the moment, and um, the RAM memory was also detected uh, through the Ubuntu graphical user interface as 16GB, so everything is fine, and my old ThinkPad T480S is with more RAM, so it's ready for new challenges. It is a great laptop, it's aging well, I'm still using it, I bought it seven years ago and it still does the job that I need it to. Of course it's not my primary laptop nowadays, but it's a still very good machine. If you like this type of videos about ThinkPads as well as embedded Linux uh, on various single board computers like Raspberry Pi, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for new videos, hope to see you soon.